Hello, welcome to this today's stream. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, orange crab. Get that to autofocus a little bit better. That looks much better. Um, so we have the orange crab. This has a uh, lattice 25k LUT FPGA and a 128 gigabyte uh, yeah 128 megabytes of ddr i think that's the only thing oh an sd card sd card it's a cool part we have a usb okay um so today we're going to go explore kind of the tool chain to get this running do the get started thing um and finish with running linux on this and show you the various steps how to do that okay put it there line it up again autofocus okay cool so let's talk about the steps so we have on the screen so we have the tools um I probably have to like actually re-add them to my terminal, but let's go through that real quick. Um, go. There we go. So we go to, yeah, so they're under FPGA tools. So FPGA tool chain, then we have all the tool, tools we wanna use. Um, I also use these tools for um, the icebreaker FPJ as well. So that could be interesting. But we want to add them to the path. So he has these commands for the path. So let's just go ahead and add it to the path. I say So, try to do this. Close. Um, um, FPJ tool chains bin. Then we want to add dollar sign path. If we do this correctly, we should be able to do uh, next. Well, right there. Next. In our EPC five dash V, right? Um, and this matches, we did a different nightly version, but we should be good to go. Now, next thing we want to do is add this rule. So this is under etc, udev, actually I can just cat that rule the same way they did it. etc, udev, um, rules, d, 99, orange crab. And there it goes, uh, mine's two lines long. This is a little bit different. I did subsystem USB, vendor ID, product ID, mode. Oh, here's another six there. Group, plug dev, and tag U access. So you can do it different than that. You just need to put make that rule, and then you should be able to plug in the device. So let's talk about the device. So um, let's get another window open. New window. So. Let's get a uh, D message dash HW, get a feed of what we're doing here. So, okay, so if we, like, so if we plug this in normally, um, we actually have Linux operating on it. So we're gonna do, we're gonna use the DC, what is it, the DC, DFU, so the DFU bootloader, to do the DFU bootloader it says, while holding the button on the crab, plug it in. So if, let's do that hold, with um, D message active. So we're gonna hold the button and plug it in. And we have right here, new USB device. He just wants to drag this off screen. Let's see if we can put it under this guy. So, um, 
Uh, we have new USB device, um, ID, ID product, so that, that matches what we have in our rule. So now if we go back to home, right? We're gonna CD to orange crab examples. We wanna go to the Verilog examples. We wanna go to the blinky, blink, we wanna do a make. Uh, so let's do a make clean. I'm gonna make all. Cool. Now we have Linux one is on here as well, but um, we now have the DFU file, and then we can make DFU. Then it's gonna download it um, to the device. And we lost the device because the USB no longer exists. Now we look at it, it's now blinking different colors, not what it was doing before. So that's what we got. We got the blinking one doing, blinking one working. Um, let's see if we go to the risk five example, right? Um, CD blink, make all. Oh, I don't have the risk five unknown GC ready at the moment. Um, that's compiling the code, but we have the blink phdl one. So let's actually go back to the other one and go mess with it real quick. Airlog. Um, so let's see if I do code. And we can look at the Verilog file and just change a little bit of its behavior. Um, File, file, folder. I'm gonna go to examples, Verilog, blink. Okay, so we have a blink Verilog file and we have a counter. Um, so one LED is always on or always off? Yeah, so one LED is always off and the other LEDs are on. Um, so let's assign this RGB. So let's assume that's G. Let's make this a one now and make this a much quicker one. So let's do 23. And I'll get some nice vibrant thing. So let's make all. So it's going to. Make clean CD make all. Okay, that's done. Let's reattach this. Hold down the button to get into the DFU bootloader. And make DFU. Did it get not get in yet? Try again. I'm, I'm using a virtual machine and it just doesn't like this too. Just plug it in normally. See if it says anything special. Devices, B. Doesn't see anything. Now, try this again. Okay, now it's got it. Okay, now let's try make the view. So we got a rapid link on the yellow on the green that's us changing the Verilog code and submitting it. So we can do a lot of cool things in here. So next, um, Enjoy Digital posted uh, a message where they had a uh, Linux system. So let's go ahead and try to get Linux running on this. So if we go to downloads, where did I put it? Um, I'm gonna click right here. 
launch crab so we have a dfu file we can upload to the device for the linux and then we have a linux folder that we're supposed to put on an sd card i've already preloaded that onto the sd card right here on an 8 gig sd card so supposedly this device would have 8 gigs of space to do stuff on so what we want to do is we want to um, um let's put this back in dfu mode First, it's connected without turning. Um, doesn't look like it actually worked. Still not liking me, are you? Come on. I think I might have to do this through the uh, virtual box of just, oh, just kill the virtual machine. Ah. So let's restart the virtual machine and try this again. Okay, so let's see. Let's do that view. Um, let's simply just go device disconnect device. Okay, we're in. Cool. So let's open up another window. I have to add the thing to the path again. So export path equals um, slash home user pj tools bin dollar sign path. Okay, now we want to go to um, orange crab. No. I guess we could go there. Add to um, paralog link. See here we have this other thing. So if we do what is it? DFU um, tool util dash d, and we give it the file name, which is going to be crab. Now we're loading this in. We have a yellow light on this guy, signaling we're downloading this guy. So. This is much bigger. This is a much more complicated bit file plus software because they're they're adding software on top of the uh, on top of the bit file so that software is loaded into the Risk Five, the Vex Risk Five processor so it knows how to or the X the first stage bootloader to load the Linux image from the kernel or the load the Linux kernel the SD card. Okay, now we're good. Now, um, if we open a new window, right, and do sudo screen um, slash dev tty Devices, USB. Let's re-plug this in and see what happens. And it killed the virtual machine. <laughs> I love this. It keeps killing the virtual machine. I'm not sure if this is an issue with the orange crab or the virtual machine. We should just blame my virtual machine in all regards. 
unplug this until we get into it later. Uh, okay. Um, the message page W. Um, Okay, so let's try again. Okay, cool. Um, so we have um, this right here. You see the product ID is different. That's because it's the orange crab and it's going to act as a USB ACM device. So here we want to do a pseudo screen. I do slash dev slash tty acm zero and we can do whatever number we want because of the way it works there we go so we're now loading our image from the kernel or from the sd card and we'll have linux running on a softcore processor on this chip so I have to say, I wish I had a heat camera because this thing gets super hot. So we're gonna log in. And what was it? Um, So file system says we have no usable space and we're so let's see. My brother said that if we go to dev we can find the spy device. So where in here do we have a spy device? Um I do like star spy. Um, let's just cd slash dev, right? Yeah, like this board will get hot after running it for a while. Um, so what do we want? cat slash proc what what do we want to cat out of proc um cpu info um mouse um you say you're looking for the tree oh we can do mem info i don't know how much that's going to provide um okay it's our memory 28 uh our cpu Um, IO mem. Mem is okay. So the spy. We have a, we have a small address space for the spy, and we could ascend. We could uh, memory map it, and then try to do reads and writes to the spy. But I'm not sure. Device three. Okay, so. Um, there's sock, and then we have the spy. Um, status. It's okay. Yay! That's great. Um, ranges, reg. So <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. 
So, uh, spy. Um, is there a, a built-in Linux spy driver? Can I just go? Can I use a spy read and write from the command line? Or is there a, are there spy reads and writes? So, so we have system devices. Um, I want to see the there. So now what we do here? We have a driver, but not I guess we could go and try to figure out what the address space is here because we could just mmap it. I have no Python. I don't think I can mmap it. Can I mmap? Um, memory memory reads from terminal. How do I do? A... So let's see. Do I have dev mem? Oh, cool. We have dev mem. Means we can um, essentially. Dev, dev, mem, and we want dev mem. Our address. Where's the address? It was f zero x f um zero 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 four eight zero zero um four memory locations. Bad width. Bad width eight. And four, eight. So two. Okay, so we can read and write the registers at the spy bus. That's great. That's great. How how do we do C? I got I got no C compiler here. Um so we can read and write to dev mem. Hmm. I mean we could look up, try to look up the register writes to the spy. I'm just not really interested in it. Link. Uh. LLVM. Give me LLVM. Um. Yep. So I mean that's pretty much where we can go today. Um. I mean we can head back home. Uh, we can totally. Uh, um read me dot me um and we can try do we have vim we do not have vim do we have vi we have vi that's great i don't have vi um do we have nano nope so we have the vi read me this is a read me 
it will die on restart. No mounted hard drive. Dot, dot, dot. We can save it. Yay, and it's there, and we can um, add it. And there's an active issue on the Lidex uh, repository about um, getting the SD card working and mounted, and you know putting your home, putting your home directory on the SD card and whatnot. But at the moment, no, we can't really do much. We can't compile any software. Um, let's see, what can we do? Here's our other things we can do. There is MicroPython. What is MicroPython? Um, cool. We have MicroPython. Do we know what this does? Rent. Hello. Oh. Um, import MF. No module. Import OS. No module named OS. Well, the garbage. Um, Who am I? Root. Root is on. Yes. What is yes? <laughs> does anyone know what yes does on the tools? That's funny. <laughs> I have no clue what yes does. There are no as well. There's a nuke. There's a no hub, no login, and no that's that name it. Start, stop, Damien, login. Sys log D. Date, what date do you think it is? Thursday, January 1st, 1970. Whoop, whoop. Um, yep, nothing's mounted. It's great. Yeah, I don't think there's much else we can do. So I guess this is kind of where we stop for now. I, I, I don't know else. And we would have to keep an eye on um, LightX to see if we can get the SD card working. Um, we could look in and trying to get that we, we have the memory access like I showed you before we can access the memory Access the memory like that it makes me think I'm gonna... Can I this. Huh. I was just curious if devmem is on the system on my normal Linux. So like, if I open up another window here and do devmem. Okay, can I do dev mem now? Ooh, um, can we do LSPCI? Eh, nothing super interesting there. That's interesting. Um, so I was gonna maybe use dev mem to do some reads and writes of a PCIe bus. Can I control the LEDs? That should be in the GPIU. GPIO. Oh, um, the GPIO. We had that, right? Um, that should be under. Nope. 
have a GPIO. We have a GPIO chip. Um, let's try to do this the fun way of exploring, right? Um, devices, um, platform, sock. So GPIO is on 400. So let's just do a go back to dev message to zero zero. Or if we're just reading it when it's off. Lucky. Um, can we just write a zero? Oh. Okay, let's write a three. Ah, it's blue. Let's write an F. Ah, look at that. We can write to the LEDs using dev message. <laughs> or dev mem. Um I don't know what the program was that was running it. It must have had um, a system in the background that was writing to this address. What we would want to do, what, like, um, so seven would be all off. And then we would have six would be red. Um, then we would have five, which would be green. Then three, which would be blue. You guys can't really see the color. Well, they blue. Um, well, let's we write a script that changes the colors. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard, right? We can write a bash script that does LED writes. Um, but yeah, lights off, all lights on, nice white color. I think we'll end it there. Um, so currently, all we can do here is change the LED, um, and they transmit data over the USB. Um, it'd be cool and get the SD card working. We could, there's not much else peripheral wise on this thing. I mean, we should probably figure out that get some good IO for this device. Um, and then we can play around with some stuff, maybe add some more GPIO to it and connect it to other ports and just have do a blast of memory reads and writes. But there you go, changing the LEDs. Oh, um, let me see. Should I, let me post the address for the, that, for the Linux image. So um, go, if you go to enjoy digital, enjoy digital on link for their thing. There we go. Um, so let's open up Firefox here. Um, a new tab, go to enjoy digital. So here they have, I, I'm, that board's coming to me later, but here they have the orange crab. If you click this link right here, open that link in a new tab. Um, and then you'll get the zip file, which will include the the DFU file and the Linux image you can put on an SD card. And we can just stick this link in the chat message, right? So everyone can click it if they want to go to it. And we were able to change the LED. Oh. All right, they also changed the, let's see what the demo is. They They say they changed the LEDs here. We'll find out where they changed the LEDs. How were they doing it? System class GPIO um, LS export echo five um, zero zero five zero eight to export the GPIO. Okay, so. Somehow they, okay, so let's try that method. Let's try the method they have here. So they CD into system devices on platform stock F4 PIO, um, PIO, I think, right? Or is it GPIO, GPIO chip zero? What we have here, um, so they do, and then the GPIO isn't here, we only have a subsystem in dev. Um, subsystem.
Oh, so it looks like they play. So we go CD sys class um, GPIO. So they must have a link here. So let's. Um, so they want to echo. So we want to echo five zero eight. That's not how you use echo. And to export. Just so everyone can see. Export. And then we're going to CD into uh, GPIO 5.8. So we're here. And then we we'll echo, so we um, ls here, we have a value. And we echo 0 into the value. Um, let's see if we do 1. Okay, yeah, it's working. 6. That didn't change the color. Seven. Oh. Two. Zero. One. It looks like it's just turning off a single GPIO. I don't know how you turn off multiple. Let's see if we can watch this video more. It just ends. Okay. Well, their way is not as cool as my way. My way is just, I like my way better. We're just doing um, that right there. Woohoo. Okay, so we kind of explored different ways we can write to GPIO. I like devmem to the memory address the best way. Um, Let's try let's try if we just read that address. We have five. Okay, so it's easy to read and write to. Um I'm not sure about the GPIO driver. Okay. So that's it for today. I'm we're gonna continue doing the video filtering later. And once we have the video filtering, we may return to the orange crab and try to get LightX with the SD card mounted. We want to add our own, I want to add my own peripheral to the bus, my own hardware accelerator to the bus. And then I want to uh, do some Linux driver software so that we can interact. And also maybe get GCC and or Python. We do have MicroPython, but maybe full Python. Maybe internet access. Can I do, can I do internet over USB? That's a good question. Okay, things to think about. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Wednesday. Goodbye. Good night.